Welcome back, everyone. The UConn men won their first championship in 1999 under head coach Jim Calhoun. Their second title came in 2004 with a team that featured several players who went on to the NBA. Channel 3's Mark Robbins sat down for a reunion with some big names from that roster. Of course, we're talking five years between the first national title and the 2004 second national title team for the Huskies when they knocked off Georgia Tech at the Final Four to win it all in San Antonio. That team recently returned to Hartford for a big reunion, and among the topics that was discussed, what it's like being a UConn basketball player in the month of March. The spare locker room at the XL Center quickly filled up as members of the 2004 national champions, along with family, gathered to tell stories and relive the moments. I was super ecstatic because this is the first time all of us are together in the same room at the same time. 2014 is probably the closest team I've ever been on in my life, basketball-wise. It brings me back to all the guys, it brings back uh, special memories that we had throughout the process, throughout the time, and it's just great seeing these guys again because we always going to be brothers, we always family. And this family shares so much, not just the practices and the games, but the experience of being a UConn men's basketball player in the magical month of March. When there's talk about winning it all, and grabbing the glory together. The guys say it was evident this time could bring success and create legacies. You, you look at the success that the program has had, and with that comes the fan base as well. You know, you C Connecticut fans are some of the best fans that I've ever seen. Having the parade in Hartford, 300,000 people being there, like it was, it was an incredible experience. And, and the UConn fan base is one of a kind. The conference tournament and the uh, NCAA tournament just made March just like a just special basketball time. So it's something very special, and just so blessed that UConn has, you know, held that that culture of winning. Um, because seriously, it's, uh, you know, 20 years later, you know, being able to sit at home on the couch and see your team number one in America, you know, you just take so much pride in that. Advice from the now wise men 20 years after their experiences, oh, they've got some for this new squad as it prepares to attempt its own journey toward a title. Our chemistry that we had, whatever one person did, everybody had to do it. So if you was going out, you bring the whole team out with you. You know, guys understanding their roles. Uh, like, for instance, you know, I was a McDonald's All-American coming in, but I came off the bench. You know, I came off the bench that championship year. So, you know, I had to accept that role and embrace it. You got to be a team first guy. Um, requires a lot of sacrifice, a lot of hard work, and dedication, and um, just champions. I think Ben sums that up pretty nicely. And all those guys that I talked to in the 2004 team think this year's team has a really good shot at winning another title. Of course, if that happens, UConn will be the first university since Florida in 06 and 07 to win back-to-back -back national titles. I'm Mark Roberts, Channel 3 Eyewitness Sports.